let's talk about the Ondo governorship election. It came and is now over. At least for now, we now know the winner. Governor Rotimi Akredolu has been declared winner uh, by uh, the Chief Returning Officer, Professor Lyinka, the Vice Chancellor of uh, the University of Ibadan, who uh, acted as the Chief Returning Officer for this election. And since that time, when it was announced, Owa, the hometown of Mr. Akredolu, has been agog with celebration by supporters and members of his families and of his party. They took to the street and Mr. Kidalu uh, has gone on tour thanking his people for supporting him and uh, voting for him. Take a listen to Mr. Akiridolu. To receive a scorecard through the statewide herbicide, the resounding victory of our great party, our Progressives Congress, throws an open challenge to all stakeholders not to choose the path of complacency. We have noted a few dissenting voices of protest in this referendum. We had them loud and clear. We intend to address genuine grievances, We shall continue to focus on the development of a God-given space, the sunshine state. Our administration, that is my humble self, including the Deputy Governor elect, Loki Orimison, Aida Chiwa, will not be distracted in the discharge of our sacred mandate. The people will continue to be the center of all decisions, as you note in my speeches, that the people of this state, my romance in politics, is with the people of this state. We will proceed with our administrative style which promotes transparency and accountability. We are determined to set our state on a progressively part, on a progressive part of real development. Self-reliance is certainly attainable. Our state has no business with poverty. To be sincere, we will remain purposeful, we will remain focused, and we believe we should have little difficulty in announcing the vast resources, both human and natural. We will put in everything to justify the trust reposed in us. There you have it, Governor Rotimi Akerelu, who's gotten a second term re uh, election. Let's take a look at some of the figures that you need to know in this election. Uh, Rotimi Akerelu of the APC polled. 292,830 votes uh, to defeat his closest driver and the candidate of the PDP, Yitayo Jagede, who polled 195,791 votes. Agwala Jai came a third position uh, with, uh, of the ZLP with 69,127 votes. Uh, a further breakdown of some of the figures that you need to know in this election shows that uh, there, there, there are 1,812,634 voters registered in Ondo State. Out of that, uh, about 595,213 were accredited for this election. And uh, the number of votes that were cast uh, uh, comes to 591,193, with uh, the valid out of that, which uh, rejected vote of 18,448. So we had valid votes of 572,745. There you have it, some of the figures that are key for you to know in this election. Let's now discuss how this election was won and lost. We've heard so much prior to this day, and now the election is over. I'm being joined by Dr. Benson Enukume. He's uh, the spokesperson of the Jagede campaign organization of the PDP. Thank you, Dr. Enukume, for coming tonight. Good evening. And I have Alex uh, Kalejaye, he's uh, the uh, public uh, publicity secretary of the APC in Ondo State. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Kalejaye, for coming tonight. Good evening, and thank you for having me. Maybe I should start with uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Eniko Omei. How does this, well, is a defeat for you at the margins of uh, Mr. Akiridolu uh, uh, for a, a second term? How does this come to you and your party 
You're one that has told us on this program that you're going to beat the APC silly. But it does look like uh, you are on the receiving end of the stick. Well, the decision on who will be the governor of this state rests squarely on the people of Ondo State. And whichever way they have decided, it is their choice. However, we have issues that when a person makes a decision that is induced or compelled to do it, you will know it is not voluntary. Like in criminal matters, when um, an accused person, or a suspect rather, goes to the police, is beaten, is flogged, or is given a promise that if he makes a particular statement, he will be let loose. In law, we will say that is not a free will or a free confessional statement. What transpired yesterday, and which all witnessed, was a financial induced election. And um, it, it, it's, quite, it's quite sad. I raised the alarm earlier that APC was coming in with close to 1.2 million naira per unit. I, I, I didn't make an error because um, the information got across to us appropriately. And uh, yesterday, these things were, um, were distributed according to the number of persons in the unit. Some units we have 680 something thousand naira. Uh, from APC, some will go as far as 1.2 million naira for the purpose of buying votes from the people. But be that as it so may. So the allegations of vote buying. Of course, yes. Precludes was, your party. It, of course, it was rampant. It was. No, it was rampant, but does it preclude your party? Of course, it pre if we do, we would have we would have succeeded. If we have the money, we don't have the money. We have the message. We have presented the message to the people. The people ordinarily would have bought the message. But because money came in and they bought it, we can't blame anybody for it. Like Esau did as soon as he sold his birthright. Whether Jacob induced him or not, once the birthright is sold, it is his choice. Right. The people made the choice. Whether induced or propelled by fund, they made the choice, All right, and they need to stand squarely with their choice for the next four years. Mr. Kalejaye, uh, Dr. Enukoroma is not someone who is strange to you, but what has he has said today? Is he strange to you about the election of yesterday? Thank you. I will not say it is strange because uh, a few weeks ago, he said the same thing, that APC spent so much money four years ago, he forgot that at that time APC was an opposition party. There was no how an opposition party could raise that kind of money, he mentioned about two weeks ago. So he's saying the same thing. In any event, when a student or a pupil has failed to prepare well for an examination, and there will be reasons after the exam is over and uh, the results are out, oh, it is because the teacher, the lecturer doesn't like my face, and uh, there will be excuses. So this is normal. But I will tell you that the success we recorded at this governmental election, the journey started some four years ago, uh, three and a half years ago. The day Luaro Timakedo Lesen was sworn in as the governor of Ondo State, it started. The uh, beginning of this year, I think it was in February, the candidate of Zene Labour Party, Honorable uh, Agbola Jai, he appealed to the good people of Ondo State not to change the winning team. I think it was on account of that that all the active politicians across the states, they gather and they united for the first time to work for the re-election bid of uh, Oluwaro Tibaki Edolu, so the candidate say, of the party. When you say all the politicians. When I mean the active politicians from the north, central, and south. In the north, you talk about the likes of Senator Ajayi Borofis. He led all the other active politicians in the north. In the central, you have Senator Donatayo Alasha Dura, the Honorable Minister. He led the part of all the, political, uh, the active politicians in the central. Down south, you have the likes of Chief Olu Sholauke. You have the likes of uh, Chief Dea Kekemeke. You have the likes of Ambassador uh, Olu Sholaiji. You have the likes of Engineer uh, Ife Oyedele. 
all of them came together. So in that's the how your party beats the PDP. Said, we will work for the re-election bill. So at the end of the day, the people voted for continuity, they voted for performance, and they both voted for the economic transformation of all those things. So that's how your party beats that the PDP. How? Uh, so, uh, Unity of purpose. The allegation of vote buying, he said it was rampant. Did you witness any but kind of But of course, of that is an excuse. There's nobody that is defeated. Did you see any kind of vote buying? I was not given 10 cover for vote. I voted in my unit. Nobody offered me 10 cover. Maybe because you are a chieftain of the party. <laughs> a chieftain of party. No, I'm asking. No, 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 sincerely. It, you're talking to Nigerians. Some of them. In all fairness, you're I've talking to very smart people. I told you that the people voted for continuity. They voted for economic transformation. They voted for performance. In less than four years, has done what so many people could not do for several years. And the people are happy with him, and they felt if we renew this mandate, this man will do more. I think this explains why they took the decision, like let this man continue the good work he's doing for the good people from the state. I'll allow you to react to Dr. Nico, man. He said, I mean, uh, Mr. Kalejaye is not a strange person to you, and he has, the way he described what you have explained that led to the defeat, how do you, how do you respond to it? Interestingly, Alex and I, we are very, very close, very, and he knows that. And um, the truth must be spoken. At this junction in one's life, if you cannot open up on the truth, when are you going to say it? Now, he and I come from the same local government. He knows too well that there is not a single thing we can point out in our local government notwithstanding the fact that we are oil producing, that we can say this was what this government did in these three and a half years. Is it the road that is going to Ayetoro that was stopped at Ubonla that this government continued? Is it the road that is from Akintubua Junction to Araromi that was um, surface dress and the roads have gone bad that this government has done? Is it electricity that it has provided? Is it um, infrastructure in record of water? And I mention water in particular because the water at Abutu was done by the Mimiko-led administration. What this government said it has done is that it, it has laid pipes and has fixed pipe for us to drink water. He came from um, the water side and from Igbokoda today. I also came from that particular place. He knows as much as I do know that as of today, no water flows in Igbokoda, no water flows in Ugbo, no water flows in Atijere, no water flows in uh, Igbegun. He knows he's from Odonla, I'm from Obiani Kansulu, no water flows there. Oh, he knows. Oh, in, so the, in, truth, in, in result, the, the truth of the matter is yeah, this. Yeah, the APC won in Elijah. He won in Esodo. Esodo is where you are from. No, uh, we are the top voter from Elijah. Elijah yeah. Yeah. So you are describing Elijah. And uh, is it true what Mr. Uh, Dr. Enugu Mahins just said? About your uh, let him look at television and when say there's true, water. When it's true, I will react. The, the, when no, it's done with his analysis, no, I will react. By the time, you know, we are from that place, and our people, a good number of them are looking at us. When he looks at the television and he says there is water, there's electricity, there is road, I will keep quiet. So but what do you think they voted for? If they no. did not vote for your party. The, the point is this. I told you of inducement. In my own unit, APC brought 685,000 naira. Did, did so, you have evidence of that? Oh, look, I am from that. I'm from Obi and no, no, Do you have evidence? Yes, I do. You have yes. a video or picture of Yes, I do. Of look, people, of the people money the people brought are my younger brothers. I won't mention their name here. So the 685, I'm mentioning figures. When he said that in 2015 or 16 that there was no uh, money distributed, Alex Alex was not in government. We were together. I was in APC, and I, we, I knew what transpired, that 400,000 naira was shared per unit. If he denies that, it will be obvious that uh, there is um, a little hope for this country. Now, the point is this. I, I do not blame the person who brought the money. Because if there was not much, then you could bring the money. We don't have the money to offer. Degede offered himself. 
He offered the things he could, he could do. He told them the story. And I'm glad that he has this 195,000 votes. But the crisis that erupted in Idori, was it as a result of the performance? A person lost his life. One Mr. Ilori from what they do in Dori. It's there. Another one who was the DG of, of um, Ita Jagade Campaign Organization, Mr. Um, Akifela, Wale Akifela, is seriously in the hospital, as I'm talking now, because of the challenges. Right. Areas where in, Doctor they know that buying of boats will Doctor not go, they will go with violence. Just a moment. We need to take another break. But when we come out, I will allow you to react to what uh, Dr. Enuki Obanyi has said, and we'll talk more about what happened on this election and the way forward for the Ondo people after this election. Join us again, everyone. <music> Same with us right here on Sunday Politics and China's television. We're talking about what happened uh, in the Ondo governorship election. Uh, let, let's now allow uh, Alex Kalejaye to react to what Ben Sianikumai has said about some of the reasons he thought uh, his party lost and how the APC won. Alex, uh, respond to Ben Sing on what, you, what, you, what he said, uh, as, especially he picked on the issue of the fact that where you come from, there is no water, there is no light. Shoo, shoo. Let's pick this thing one after the other. I am a trained journalist. And in the profession, truth is sacred. Facts, sacred. The business of Kokote figures. It's not my real specialization. In Elijah, where I come from, uh, most of us don't have regard for figures. It is therefore very convenient for somebody from Elijah to say, oh, I saw 10, 10 million naira flowing on top of water. It's very convenient. But if Dr. Benson says he has evidence, why? I challenge him to publish it to the world. I really want to know where this money comes from and who were the people, the beneficiaries of this money. But having said that, talking about performance, when we came on board, we inherited so much debt, so much crisis. But Mr. Governor assured that after four years, we will have seen the impact of good governance in the three senatorial zones. And today, we have witnessed it in the north. We have witnessed the impact of good governance in the central, and we have witnessed in the south. I am from the south. Elijah is in the south. Okitikupa is in the south. Orre is in the south. That redemption bridge, is a, it, it, so many people could only dream of it. But in less than four years, this administration has put it in place, in the southern central district. I recall then, Dr. Benson said, Akedolu will not be able to complete that project within four years. That is not possible. That only want to start it so that I can have something to campaign for second term. Meaning, when he says, oh, if you vote for me, I will complete this bridge. But so many people in that, that belong to that uh, school of thought, they have been disappointed. The man completed, Mr. President came down to commission the project. On assumption of office, the first 100 days, he... Uh, this person's administration developed major roles within the university. Now, Dr. Lucia Gwangagu University of Science and Technology in Okitipopa. It was like a glorified secondary school before we came. It's in the south, too. It's in the south. In fact, Ilaje, where Oktip, we used to, uh, all, of, all of us used to belong to what we call old Okitipopa Division. All of us are from Okitipopa Division. Dr. Abbasi said you, he dared you to look into the camera and say that there is any that, that is what development. I'm that is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Your people will that not is what I'm you. saying. That is what I'm saying. All of us were in old Okitipopa Division. In old Okitipopa Division, we have the Redemption Bridge. We have all the beautiful roads within the university. We have so many infrastructure that we put into that place. The abandoned Okitipupa in Rayleigh Road for eight years. Within the first one year, it has been completed, also in the south. And now schools were rehabilitated, fixed in, this, in the south, particularly in Laje. So the water project that was done haphazardly and abandoned by the previous administration has been fixed. And we're drinking it. So many roads, roads have also been awarded in Elaje. The Abotwati Railroad is ongoing. 
This administration has recently commissioned an, a, a, a housing estate of international standard in Elaje. Maybe, uh, yeah, do, you, do, you, do you see no, yourself he returning? He might refuse to, not you, to know. Do you see yourself returning to the APC? He might refuse not to know. No, anyway, leave that for me. No, no, no. He, no. You, you think he can return back? We can, we can always discuss that. Unless, so, unless, he, I, don't want to, I don't want to be petty about some things. Yeah. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to say, until you have given me money, you are not a generous man. That would be unfair. No. If I've seen what you are doing to others, I should be able to say, of a true, this man is... He's a generous man. But when I see that, oh, I don't know whether he's a generous man or not because I don't give him money. Mm. But he has given to BC, right. he has given to this, no, but he has not done it. So it is moment. wrong. Just a moment. This man has now, worked across the three senatorial this, this, this election is so, won, has been won. If, and, just a moment. If Mr. there are one or two local government areas that don't be touched in three and a half years, those local governments should be assured that in this in news the, the in all of them will be all touched. Right. So just a moment. Uh, because of our time now, uh, I, I don't know say, when, uh, but if there's anybody asking it. All right. Now, the, the issue now is the fact that the election is over. And as a lawyer, you know what it means when there's an election and there's a declaration. It is law. No, looking at what has happened now, uh, for you, you have a governor for the next four years, either you like it or not. By choice, you do not have. You have a governor in Akere Dolu. In what, in your mind, your party, the PDP, what do you think is up for you for the future? The truth of the matter is we must thank the people of Ondo State, particularly from Akure, uh, Ifedore, Akure North, who resisted the temptation of money and voted according to their conscience. We must thank them. We thank the party members. For us as a party, we will examine the books we will examine the result. We will look at all that happened. We will look at areas where inducement, because it pervaded the whole state. So now, 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 now just, just a moment. Just, just, just a moment. Lost all just, money just a inducement moment. to place. Alex, you will have your time. <laughs> I don't have quarrel with Governor Kredulu winning in a war. Ordinarily, for example, you could see the people rejoicing with him. It should be the whole state. But it is a war, only a war, because he did well for his people. Alex and I are from the same place. You mean he's he from, do well in he's, he's from Ugo for the World first time, time. For the first time. I am from Ugo World so We should not be citing what happened so in Akure. So you are not saying that? We should be talking from Akure. All the roads in Akure, you are not saying? Now, we should be talking the road now that, that the of the house of your candidate. What happened in Ugo World Alex, let our people hear us. They are watching us across the world. We should be talking about what happened in the super deck, how our money has been used. When this government came on board, Sheung, he mentioned that our people don't have respect for figures. He should know I do. Even though I'm a lawyer, I said I'm many good, of our people. But, but I'm exempted. I said many. I didn't when say we it. came into this government, when we came on board, it was not in government. I was SSA Oil and Gas. I left. We met 1.4 billion Naira. And Sheung, I'm looking into the camera and talking. We met 1.4 billion naira in a bank, starting with A, the bank's name starts with A, and it was Osoba Deck money. I spoke to Mr. Benga Edema, who is the chairman of Osoba, said, this amount of money is available for you. Go and make use of it. I won't put that, that gentleman into trouble now, but we go to Ilaje, where he and I come from. The roads are not fees. What about the one that they said they are going to do? Let's, let's water, go. nothing was ever. We, 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 we are out of the time now. We need to go now. Many we need to go now. Many but schools have been renovated. Go, in the going forward the, now, the election is over. Okay. Uh, what do you think is the most important thing? Your party is on the winning side. What do you think is important for your people? Well, in APC, we have talked to ourselves and we have said we are not going to be wild in the, ju the uh, jubilation. Because it is the people, it's a victory for the people. We, we try to justify that confidence reposing us by renewing this mandate. We will do more for the people of Ondo State. We are going to be selfless in our approach to service delivery. The seaport, 
the seaport we will pursue, and Mr. Governor has assured us that if that is the only thing he's able to, because that is capable of transforming right. the economy yeah. of the state. We'll be very serious about we'll, that. We'll, 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 we'll hope and, and we'll, we'll hold you by that the word. Every of in the wishes. In, a, in APC, we don't believe in deception. We don't play politics of deception. But you we, can see that from the attitude and the body language of the leader of APC in the state. Thank you. I have to, I have to Alex Kalejaye, uh, spokesperson of the APC in Ondo State. Benzi Aniko Omaye is the spokesperson of uh, the PDP campaign organization. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming. Interestingly, it's brothers, a you are. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for all of you that have followed our coverage of the Ondo governorship election from all of the crew right here in Akura Ondo said Thank you so much, everyone. And it's bye from all of us all. <laughs>